So now you've cut your notches in and you got 19 notches. Um, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of tape and um, I'm going to tape my yarn to the back of my loom so that it stays in place. And then I want to make this go from north to south, kind of like a map. One side is going to have eight notches and one side is going to have nine. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to put that in there and now I have nine over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Now I'm going to have my yarn go over to the neighbor's house and say, hey, can you help me figure out how to do this? And they'll say, you know, why don't you ask the person on the other side of the street? So we're gonna go all the way across the street and we're gonna go and make the small old smallest X. And I'm gonna go right here. And then we're gonna turn this so that it's on the bottom. Once again, you're gonna go to the neighbor's house. Can you help me figure out how to warp this loom? He'll say, no, go across the street. We're going to go all the way across the street and make that little X. Turn it so it's on the bottom. Go to the neighbor's house. This is a pattern now. Tells you to go across the street, make the world's smallest X. Turn. Go to the neighbor's house, make the smallest X. Always bring it down to the bottom. Neighbor's house. Across the street, make an X. It's getting to be a little bit of a wider X now. Go to the neighbor's house. Go across the street. Turn it around. Go to the neighbor's house. Go across the street. Turn it around. Neighbor's house. We're getting close to the end here. We're going to go make an X. And now we're going to pull this all the way here. And that gets to be the end of warping our loom. 